Welcome back. Continuing on, we are, I believe, Marston's over here. Not sure what he wants. Horse flesh for Can dinner. I help you? Oh, looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh yeah, that's right. I burnt well, down all your fields. Business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Well, she does know who I am. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. To be fair, actually, were these the ones? No, these are different fields. All right, so you guys still got some business going on. These are the fields I think I burned down. We're good men, like you. you well, how good I'd say we are. Turn up and down, you're helping everybody. Yep. And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attack my fields. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. And that ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Tell over there we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. All right, so we're just going to publicly, I mean. Bring horses to that place. Keep all horse wrestling away from the public. All right. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Am I going to keep one of these horses? I mean, if it's worth 5,000, it's got to be a good horse, but I really like mine. Then again, I could just sell it. Crazy old fool. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old <laughs> was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. 5,000 for horses. They must be rich. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But, to get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Whoa. So I know I did kind of Sean's mission first. Could I have done this one first? In which case, the dialogue would be different? Or did I have to do that in this order? Make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. <laughs> That's a good point. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Alright, so we're going in pretending to buy horses. And I assume we're gonna steal them. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> Alright then. Do your thing. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe? Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Look, 
Head on out to the stables. It's amazing how easy this is. Someone will come see you. Also, am I gonna have to hide again? Because they know who I am. Alright. I think that's the stables just up ahead. It's I do down. like the concept of this chapter, basically Head playing both of these families. And I know the plan is for us to, you know, screw them both over and then leave while they're fighting each other. But I can't help but feel like we're just going to end up with both of them after us. Cinder gets her own stable. Or her own post. Let me do the talking. But they know me. Oh, this guy doesn't know me. All right. No, not aim weapon. Dude, there you are. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! <laughs> don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. That's so. Unofficially. Of <laughs> Unofficially. Well, this here's Cerberus. Whoa! Put the... There you go, boy. Whoa. Cerberus is Why a is my gun out? Stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, old faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. So he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Still kill. Amazing runner, though. That's not what my mission is, right? I got I got distracted when uh when I drew my gun. And this here is Old Father Time, <laughs> my favorite horse. She's good. I missed something. Like, is, is is my mission to kill this dude? I don't know where it tells me my mission. Hope might be a little thin for them Saratoga winners, but uh, red, right? They'll produce another winner. Just look at those balls. <laughs> yeah, it's, they're waiting on me to do it. A hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need no... Nobody recognizes us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You oh, yeah, give me the one that had the bad leg. Relax, boy. Come it's okay. On. Good boy. Easy. Yeah, that's right. Easy now. Easy there. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. I don't wanna pet you. Do I have to lead you? Can I just get on? Oh, I gotta lead it. This way. Come on. Marshall, it is a pretty right horse. Up. I'll cover up the back if there's any problems. Regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! Okay, what so they're all linked up. Stop! Stop! We'll be I said stop okay, you now we can fight. Stop! Okay, that's that's my dude. There. More coming this way! Out of the fields! Alright. There we go. Oh god! Oh, I almost hit the tree. Watch out by that wagon! Done deal. It's alright, don't worry. Dudes on the wagons. And sure like I do. Into the fields! Aw. Makes me feel like I did that for nothing. Look there! Ah! The oh shit. Down. Come on! Let's try to lure them in the tree. Man, those three must be freaking the hell out right now. I think we're clear! Yep. 
much. Is that everything? Are we done here? Nope. Okay, so we're getting them and selling them in this mission. Now the question is, are we gonna? Oh. Okay, he's talking to the horses. Shit! One of the stallions is loose. Keep going. I'll get him. Got a lasso it. Uh, where'd you go, boy? I think, I think these are all male. There you go. Now I just gotta guide you back. Come on. Like my control is vibrating, like it's definitely fighting me. Or is it just supposed to be doing okay now it stopped. Nope, it's doing it again. Hey Morgan! Over here! You got him! Well done! Come on now! Lemon's Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> Come here. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't. There's no way these things are worth that much. Easy. Oh, I was wondering why I couldn't do anything. All right, guy. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. <laughs> Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Woo, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know these horses. They ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But. I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're going to need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here. Take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. So 700 Once for the again. three horses. Oh, hey, did we, uh... Hit a Leave milestone. Spun us by one of that gray family. Imagine we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. All right. Well, 700, 700. It's definitely not what we thought we were getting, but hey. All right, what's next? Boop. And Molly. Yeah, we'll go, Molly. Hey, Arthur. C can I have a quick word? Hey, Molly. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. 
But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. A great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. Okay, so no this actually more. wasn't a mission for her. It works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. <laughs> what are you? Talking about Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said hey, I'll do it as long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. <laughs> you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, <laughs> Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. I love my dude's, uh... Like, not personality, but, uh... Come on, then, you miserable bastards. I guess attitude towards everybody, like, literally everybody here. Get wind of this, old man. We only been down here all five minutes. Also, I have, like, zero dead eye. Uh, what do I have that I can... Eh. Wow, you boys been all fishing and playing there we all, go. man, or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey! You don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? Now, I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be Mask up. Crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. As we all have oh, our guns out. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> I mean, it's coming right towards us. It's not going to be hard to do. Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid. And we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Oh, God, Mr. again. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So, you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around. And not Let's rob this dude a second time. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out. I mean, last time we robbed this dude, he ran us out of Valentine. I am noticing a trend. Are you gonna give me a hand here? Also, why'd you say my name? Now, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! I think I say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Stop saying my name, damn it. Oh, no. So we just gotta escape, we don't gotta shoot him. Light a shot, boys! Get rid of these sons of bitches! Okay, so we are gonna fight them? Oop, another shooting at us. Nice 
Oh my god. So I'm hoping I don't hit a tree or a rock or something. I'm trying. Oop, hello. Alright, let me get some distance. Hey, where the hell are you guys going? there is. I can't tell if I'm supposed to be fighting these guys because I feel like their numbers are just increasing. Yeah, I'm just supposed to escape. Scripted. I don't think I actually had to fight them other than to reduce the amount of bullets coming my way. This is why we don't listen to that guy for tips. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. <laughs> Shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I hate it. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Are they robbing that place? Or are they looking for us? Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh, uh, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Guys, guys, tell me what you heard. I don't... I don't maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ah, oh, goddammit. Ain't me. Ain't better not be. Alright. Coop forth. Hello. What kind of name is Cooper Forth? The hell's that? I'm not, like, if I'm looking through the wood, do they see me? Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Hmm. Are we gonna kill this guy? Place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! You are a shit. Okay, never mind. Well, so much for that. Give him hell, boys! It's over for you! Uh, Alright, I got my weapon. So, did he see somebody, or did Charles just decide to get lower cover? Oh, shit, I'm out of we got more of the bastards on this side. Uh, okay. We'll try that again. Uh, we'll 
I don't think it matters where I stand. Oh, but we're saving them. Come on, buddy. Alright, this side I think is good. How about we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? Burn us out now. Yes, they are. Oh, Dutch is going to be happy to find out we were up there again. So, are we not worried about the fire, guys? I feel like we. Oh. Shot mid sentence. We don't get out of here soon. We're charcoal. Oops. Come on, old man. I mean, shouldn't we just focus one side and then run through that side? Uh, I guess that. I guess that way works too. Oh God, I'm on fire. Stand over there, because that's where I was when I got lit on fire. Come on, Arthur. Alright, we're good. Let's head to the woods. Alright, is this like yeah, well, I'm assuming this is like before. They're just gonna keep showing up no matter how many I kill. Stamina's going up. Please split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. I don't want to go with you. I want to go with Charles. Quick, behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. I really like the lighting. We need to do this quiet. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my Shh. right. <laughs> God damn it. You see anything? Not yet. Are you dumb fuck? Which one did I have? Oop, oh, so much for uh, so much for quiet, Oops, so much for quiet. I mean, you shot your gun. You weren't quiet. Can't even see who they're fighting. Oh, is that gun out of ammo? No. I can't. Oh, that's my dude. Thank you for having terrible aim. Not taking advantage of my confusion. Ah! Oh, I shot his hat off. Alright, now he's dead. 
And last dude. Are we done, guys? We all still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Glonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Glonk. Run, quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. At least my horse spawned near here. Last time, after I got drunk with Lenny, I woke up in the woods and my horse was nowhere to be seen and had to run back to camp. Uh, well, that was fun. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.